So it is a cooler start to the day. Make sure you have a couple of extra layers on a jacket. Definitely necessarily not not only this morning, but into the afternoon hours as well. That cooler air has definitely taken hold. This is where we're at. We're at 50 degrees in Burlington. Not too bad, but down into the 20s in Saranac Lake, 29 degrees there. Really, really cold for you folks. 42 in Springfield, 41 Newport, 43 Messina. Again, a lot cooler than we have been used to. In fact, 15 to 20 degrees cooler in the Champlain Valley compared to where we, where we were this time yesterday. And if you remember, along the Connecticut River Valley, they were in the 70s this time yesterday. So a huge difference, 30 degree difference for those folks this morning. Of course, all thanks to yesterday morning's cold front, which very quickly brought us that fall-like temperature, uh, fall-like weather after a couple of 90 degree days to start off the work week. We end the work week nice and dry again behind that cold front, not only that cooler air, but also the drier air. And we do have that across most of our region. Off to the west of us, Great Lakes getting some showers now. That is a cold front system moving closer to us. And we will get some showers out of that. At least some of us will get some showers out of that by tonight and into early tomorrow morning. For most of the day, though, it is going to be actually really nice out, but a lot cooler. Like I mentioned, that cool down taking hold noontime, only near 57. Highs around 61 this afternoon, around 4 o'clock or so. By 4, 5, 6 o'clock, you're going to find some clouds creeping in ahead of that next system. Here it is on Futurecast. More and more of those again towards dinner time and beyond. Showers for northern New York and likely central and southern Vermont as well into late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Champlain Valley might get a couple of those, but we'll also get plenty of sunshine tomorrow. And as you can see, any rain that you get is pretty light and moves out quickly and we'll find some sun for the second part of the day. And nice and clear again on Sunday, which I believe turns into another gorgeous day. It'll feel like fall for the next couple of days. Not much of a warm up until about Sunday, mid and upper 60s. Then again, lots of sunshine. Beautiful on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, but there's that warm up back up into the 70s, which is where we'll stay through the middle of next week.